anyways, like I say, this is the maiden on the flight test Freedom Fox. Right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. Motor on. Motor on. Timer set for five minutes. Got my... Oh, I don't have my checker. I set it down. That's okay. We'll fly the full five minutes and then we'll check it out. Oh, wait. I do have it. Okay. Never... Last time I flew a Kit Fox was a Balsa version. And she didn't make it 15 feet. So, hopefully we have a better result with this one. All right, like I said, I'm glad to get her up kind of high and trim her. So, here we go. Whoa, hold on. Maybe I better go straight into the wind. This is a very, very light plane. You know what? Hold on. We'll go over here. I've got the one easy light. Okay. Right. Left. Down. Right. Left. Okay. Try that again. Well, she flies just fine. Did need a little bit of up trim. Okay. Well, if I feel that comfortable with a plane on a maiden, that should tell you something. About th three quarters throttle right now. Very agile plane. All right, birds. Come on, birds. Got a huge flock of birds. <laughs> really don't need much trim at all. Just need a little bit of, a little bit of up elevator. All right. Let me back up a little bit. <laughs> well, let me go get it. <laughs> Safe mode. Yeah, you heard me right. I got an I decided to uh Forgo the uh, regular DSMX protocol receiver. And I put a safe receiver. I put an AR630 right dead in the middle. And uh, it's got safe and AS3X. Because I had a couple of extra ones. So I figured, well, I'll give it a shot. All right. All right, we're going to try safe. Yeah, see, you let go of the sticks, and automatically self levels. So let me back up a little bit. She's up high. Well, I tell you what, though, solid flying plane. I'm going to take say, well, you know what? I need to land and save, don't I? All right, let me get her turned around here. If I can get her turned around. All right. Out of the power now. Very good. Okay, not bad at all. All right, AS3X now. We're going to get her turned around here. Okay, and we're going to take off in that grass. Here we go. 
Whoa. She got some torque to her. Don't give her, don't give her full, full throttle right off the bat. Just like a kit fox, she's gonna to torque on you. So you want to kind of build up before you take, you know, kind of run the runway a little bit. <laughs> Come on, birds. I guess I'm interrupting where they like to fly at. That's a good looking plane. I just love that red, white, and blue. We're gonna go off the right a little bit, try not to hit that bird. And we're gonna land on the runway, hopefully. Look at these flock of birds. Boy, they're coming from every direction, aren't they? All right, let's get back out here on the runway, or out here on the grass. And we're going to take off right towards the highway. This time, I'm going to go in my low rates, which are 70% throws over 30% expo. We'll try a takeoff like that. Oh, I'm liking those rates. All right. We'll land with that. Okay, gonna land right here in the grass, hopefully. Nope. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go to my mid rates, which are 85% with 30% expo. We're gonna see how I like that. Here we go. I like that. I might like that best of all. Even with the uh, sun coming up now, you can really see that tail light. All right. And I have the longer wing tips. Whoa. Got some strong gear, don't it? All right, let's try taking off again. Yeah, give her a little bit of right throttle, a little bit of right rudder when you take off. Otherwise, she'll torque on you. She'll roll over on you. She got some power for a 3S. I'm running a, 30, a 2700, which is a little bit bigger than what it calls for. Come on, birds. Birds, birds. <laughs> Wildlife hazards. Oh, now folks, that's what you call taking a bow with style. <laughs> Let me get her turned back over. Oh, that's a mess. All right, going to take off again. Yeah, I forgot to do the right rudder. Time remaining, one minute. All right. Got to tell you, I am impressed. This is a solid flying little plane. You definitely want to keep full up elevator there. <laughs> keep that nose up. All right, one more time, and then we'll check the battery. Whoa, a little bit too much right rudder that time. Man, she's a great flying plane. Very, very impressed. 30 seconds. Yes, yes, British lady, 30 seconds, I know. <laughs> help me, help me! Motor off. 
All right. That was not good. But hey, this is the maiden. I haven't quite figured this plane out yet. So that's the excuse I'm going to use anyways. All right. Let's uh, very, let's listen to this. Hear that? That's how strong that magnet is. That holds in that plane, holds in the, uh, Fifty four percent. So you know what that means. You know what that means. I got to get one good landing on this runway. All right. Got to have one good landing. Of course, it helps to have the motor on. Uh oh. Since I got a problem, my one wheel kind of wonky. I can fix that though. All right. Of course, dealing with that cross breeze, it does make it kind of hard to land good. At least that's my excuse. That's my excuse, anyways. Ah. Come on. We'll try from the other direction. Yes, yes, yes. We'll take it. <laughs> We're gonna take that. Motor off. Well, folks, there you go. folks that's right this is the second flight ever second time ever flying the flight test freedom fox i'm in my mid rates which for me i like this is 85 percent over 30 percent expo all the way around all right and even with the brunt of the sunlight now you can really see that tail light right left up down right left i Motor on because planes seem to work so much better when their motor is working. Um, second flight, run at 2700. Remember, you want a little bit of. Something doesn't sound right. Uh, hold on. Let me get her turned around, land her. Yeah, my motor, motor is gone. The ESC blew, I think. Hold on. Motor off. Let's see what's going on. Oh gosh. Oh, gosh, man, that ESC is hot fire. And I've got plenty of, cool. it's got plenty of cooling. Man, that ESC is on thermal shutdown is what that is. Motor's not hot at all. That e Oh, I can't even put my finger on that ESC. Wow. And I'll let her, I'll let her sit and cool down for, her. well, <laughs> I think I'm going to put it, whoa, shoot, is motor off? Motor on, motor off. Motor off, My, uh oh, it's on fire. Yeah, I have a fire. I've got a fire. See the smoke? My ESC is on fire. 
Look at that. See? Wow. That's not good. ESC on fire. Let's uh, quickly. Uh-oh. Um, shoot. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, I can't. Dang it. I'm gonna want, I don't want to ruin the... Ah, uh, shoot. Well, hopefully... Wow. Okay. Well, y'all saw it. <laughs> should the only damage should be the ESC. Flight test, I think you're gonna need to send me out a new, ES, new ESC. That's, that's on uh, camera. <laughs> well, folks, that concludes the second flight ever <laughs> of the flight test Freedom Fox. And my ESC, that caught on fire. And I would run a three cell only. Folks, <laughs> that's the first time I have ever had that happen to me. In all the years I've been flying, I've never had an ESC catch fire like that. Had plenty of cooling, so it's just a bad ESC. Uh, flight test you get this video and you get my uh, email hopefully you'll send me out a new one but i'm not going to put the same one back in i'm going to put a different one in <laughs> folks thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all and don't forget faith family and friends and flaming escs bye-bye